Amy Taylor is a mom of five and one of 10 siblings. She's an avid runner and has been competing for the last eight years. She's run the Glass City Marathon before, but when she heard it was going virtual, she figured she would skip it. Until she realized her mom's nursing home just happens to be exactly 26.2 miles away from her house. Taylor's mom, who recently celebrated her 86th birthday, suffered a stroke in January and battled the neurovirus in March. With her health issues, keeping her in a nursing home became necessary, but with the state shutdown, it also meant Amy couldn't be with her mom for the foreseeable future. We felt honestly as if we were in a race against time because the nursing homes, of course, um, kind of had a heads up that this might be, you know, going to take place. My mom has been very dependent on her 10 children all of her life. And um, I guess when you tell other people, um, so, <clears throat> so it was rough um, learning that she'd be on her own. Instead, they relied on window visits. And on Easter Sunday, Amy had a special surprise. I told her, you know, we weren't doing an Easter egg hunt, but she should just kind of watch for me at the window. And so um, I live way out in the country and it was some highways and I was kind of nervous about running um, that distance with just no assurance. But um, my kids met me at the halfway point and you know, when I got to her window and she was there just beaming and, and like, you know, woohoo, and you did it. And she couldn't believe I fell down. And my son kind of hit me this little pink sign that just said, you can do it. And, and it hit me when I got to her window that that is truly what we're saying to her. Um, because every day is, is, you know, just encouraging. And, it, and it's not just her, you meet lots of people are experiencing the exact same thing um, and so it's like yeah we can all do this if we just stick together. That first run inspired Amy to do the virtual Glass City Marathon and two weeks later she charted the same course with her mom waiting at the finish line. I think as other runners kind of understand what the finish line means to you a lot of other people just think well you're probably glad because you're done but there's there's another sense of like accomplishment and, it, and, and running becomes like a gift that you can give to someone. And I actually use it a lot of times for prayer, reflection. Um, and so I think, I think she was my inspiration. Amy admits she hasn't been happy with how she's finished some of her recent races. But for this one, the time on the stopwatch meant nothing compared to the time she gets to spend with her mom. I expect myself to perform. And um, so I've, I've disappointed myself a couple times in races, but this year, this was totally different for me. It was a moment in time where I was able to stop myself and say, this, this truly had nothing to do with me and running. It had to do with um, how, how you can use inspiration um, and strength when, when there's nothing else, you, I mean, you can't control the situation that we're in. And so it just allows you to dig deep and, and discover why you do what you do, what makes you tick. And she makes me tick. Alex Wilcox, BCSN.